Get ready to enter a world, full of adrenaline and courage of midnight. A fearless pit bull who became a legend in the dogfighting arenas. Midnight, a name that echoes around town. He is the undisputed grand champion. Feared and respected, for its imposing size, unparalleled agility, and powerful strength. Capable of taking down any opponent who dared to challenge him. He is the indomitable king of the ring, where the music of his claws, against the ground, creates an intense symphony of tension and energy. As a puppy, Midnight was trained with the strictest discipline. With the sole purpose of facing fierce opponents and proving their supremacy. He trained like a gladiator, with his ruthless trainer guiding him with a firm hand. But the black pit bull persisted, and always overcame any obstacle in its path. The city boils with anticipation during the nights of the fight. All eager, to witness Midnight's fury and toughness. Its bright eyes reflect the determination of a fighting dog. As the audience surrenders to his majestic presence. Every bark, every snarl, is a demonstration of his imposing, and absolute dominance, over the arena. With his mighty muscles, he's determined to prove that all is not what it seems. And a great champion, he can be more than just a warrior. This is the story, and the incredible trajectory of Midnight. A pit bull in the ring, where its imposing presence can inspire courage and emotion. The Great Midnight Champion, by Jesse Rod. It was a hot day, and we started a 16-kilometer run. To my surprise, Midnight was the only one behind the truck, he didn't allow any dog to pass him. If they tried, he would grab them and knock them over. And he would keep following the truck. After seeing, this beautiful black puppy, and with all that claw. I tried everything to acquire it, and luckily, I did. Raising Midnight was a great experience. When he was about eight months old, and I lived in the city, he killed dozens of cats. That made him unpopular with my neighbors. When he was eight months old, I had his first fight test with him. I put him to fight, against a dog of mine, who was champion, he was called, Half Dead Bullet. Midnight, started to fight, right away. About a month later, I had another fight test. And this time, it was against a friend's dog, who was called, Spike, he was a tough dog. For 15 minutes, the two fought steadily, and in the end, Midnight, came back from the corner, to fight, with all their strength. When Midnight completed nine months, I decided to schedule an official fight for him. The fight would be against Bruce, from Pocono. Midnight weighed 17 and a half kilos. Bruce weighed 17 kilos. This fight was really good for Midnight. He learned a lot from Bruce's fighting style. Midnight stopped him at 40 minutes. So I decided to pit Midnight against a dog called Groucho. Groucho belonged to Havana Chico and T. Russo, in partnership. We scored with a weight of 17 and a half kilos. This fight started with Groucho, attacking in the head. The Midnight, was attacking in the chest. Groucho tried to hold Midnight, but he couldn't. 30 minutes into the fight, Midnight was attacking a fallen dog. And no chance of winning. Chico, picked up Groucho, and took him to his corner, to do a courtesy turn to fight. And so Midnight, became a winning dog once, in 42 minutes of combat. A few months later, in a conversation with Indio, Sonny. I told him that I doubted the quality of Midnight's opponents. 
And so, I decided to go to California. That's when Midnight and Clancy clashed. Clancy, also known as Headache. Midnight attacked him right in the chest, and didn't give Clancy much of a chance to do anything. In 35 to 40 minutes of the fight, Clancy, made a very good return to the fight, in the scratch. And convinced me, of the quality of Midnight. The second fight, official from Midnight, was against Leroy, from B.O.B. Pitts. Leroy, once a winner, weighed 17 and a half kilos. Leroy's victory over Ashton Icepick was in a fight that lasted 1 hour and 48 minutes. Midnight was a young dog, he was 13 months old, and he weighed 17 kilos. This was one of the best fights Midnight participated in. Both dogs meet in the center of the ring. The Midnight attacked Leroy's chest and dragged him across the pit. He threw Leroy against the wall and punished him with all his might. Leroy held firm, but there was nothing to be done. He couldn't find Midnight's fighting style. With a duration of 1 hour and 32 minutes of combat, B.O.B. finally caught Leroy. And so Midnight became a dog, twice winner. After that win, it was extremely difficult to find an opponent to face Midnight. I went to visit a friend, and I met two guys from Georgia, one named Dobbins, the other Robertson. They had a 17 kilograms dog, this dog was called Panda Bear. On the day of the fight, both dogs were at combined weight. When we released them, the two attacked in the chest. As Midnight tried to hold Panda Bear, he lost control. The Panda Bear shook the Midnight and he lost control. The people who were there saw this and started betting against Midnight. But that only lasted a few minutes. Midnight found themselves in the fight and made Dobbins and Robertson pick up the Panda Bear at 30 minutes of combat. They did a courtesy scratch. In one day, in a conversation, with another great friend, V. Camp. He told me that he had a dog, 40 pounds, and that he would like to face Midnight with him. We pit Midnight against Joey Boots from Camp. Midnight, attacked insanely, and after 20 minutes of fighting, I asked if Camp, would like to do a scratch, to continue. He accepted, and Joey, faced with Midnight, in the center of the ring, biting hard. Joey was taking a beating, so Camp decided to take him out of the fight at 29 minutes. Joey didn't come back to fight, courtesy scratch. Midnight, as usual, in his courtesy scratch, he came back like a missile. The champion Rusty Hooks, from the bandwagon team, was created by Jerry Matlocks. He is the son of Champion Truck, a dog of the Curvino lineage. And his mom is K.A.Y. from Bandwagon. K.A.Y. was a grand champion, a boomerang female. Rusty had beaten the best dogs in the Midwest. At the time, the Midnight Champion had beaten the best dogs on the East Coast. Included in those victories were the Havana Boys, the Bob Pitts, and a dog named Vinny, who was a champion dog. Getting a fight to win the title of Grand Champion for Midnight was almost impossible in the Northeast. I had heard of the dog Rusty, and they had heard of Midnight. Before long, I received a call from Bandwagon. This man, and his dogs, had a great reputation. We agree with the weight of 18 kilograms. The fight would be in my part of the country. Now it's time to start conditioning. I decided to pre-book two weeks. We were going to work a lot. My instincts told me I needed this. 
I chose an eight-week workout consisting of pole work, swimming, a 15-mile walk a day, and a two-hour run on the treadmill. Midnight was a workaholic. I had to be careful not to let him work too hard, because he would. On the day of the fight, I chose Havana Chico as my best man. He is a big man dog, and has an exceptional look. But, the important thing is, I knew he would be there for me, until the end. Everyone was betting on Rusty to win, except for a few friends. I called as many bets as I could. The dogs were released, and immediately exchanged bites, on the shoulder. At 20 minutes I called a scratch, and it was done. To my surprise, when I put Midnight in my corner, I realized that it had lost its front. My corner gave me the encouragement I needed and then Rusty came back with a vengeance. We took turns scratching, for about an hour. Rusty, was destroying my dog's front. He was the hardest biting dog I've seen in 20 years. All I could do was stay with Midnight and try to encourage them. Try to get him to his feet, because we were fighting, on defense. At the hour and a half mark, Midnight got up, he took Rusty, to the ring wall, attacking him in the throat. We were on the attack. It was the first time we saw a weakness in our opponent. Midnight, was coming back from scratch, full speed, hitting the front, with full blast. After some scratching, attacking on the chest, Rusty finally slowed down in the fight. At 1 hour and 50 minutes, Rusty, heard the count, in the corner. I asked for a courtesy, and Midnight returned to the fight, with the same strength as the first time. These two good athletes had to face each other, and only one could be the winner. Thank God it was me. I will always thank Bandwagon, for the courtesy, for the good manners, and for putting on a good show. I would like to thank Indian Sunny for allowing me to have a dog really great. In the exciting outcome of this story, we are introduced to the majestic Pitbull, a great champion called Midnight. His life was a journey marked by courage, determination and unparalleled inner strength. His imposing presence filled any environment with an intense vibration, arousing respect and admiration from everyone who crossed his path. Midnight, with its eyes as deep as the night, carried with it an indomitable soul. Since he was a puppy, he demonstrated his vocation for greatness, showing unique agility and enviable musculature. No obstacle was too big for him to overcome, as his determination was unmatched. Midnight's career as champion was brilliant. Battle after battle, he dominated the ring, showing all his impeccable skill and technique. Midnight's legacy will live on forever, and his example has inspired future generations of pit bulls. He left the ring, given a standing ovation by an emotional audience. With her serene gaze and one last affectionate lick of her human companion, Midnight departed for a well-deserved retirement. And so, the great champion became a legend, a symbol of determination, bravery and unconditional love. His story will continue to be told and revered, eternalizing the name of Midnight, in the hearts and in the memory of those who were touched by its grandeur. My name is Rodolfo Luis. Write which dog you want to know the history of, and I'll bring it here for you.